have had an urge to play for the past couple weeks, and today I decided to finally pull the trigger and uh, just uh, give it a try again. I'm recording this in the morning. And there are some birds chirping in the background. I hope that it's not too loud and disturbing and uh, ruining the ambiance of this video. But I guess I'll find out in editing. But anyway, as you may have already been able to tell, I'm going to be trying out World of Warcraft Classic, which I never played when it originally came out in, I think, 2019. I've yet to try out World of Warcraft Classic, so this is my first time playing this version of World of Warcraft since it originally came out. Let's see. So, I kind of want to play a Night Elf just because of their starting area. It's definitely the most fitting ambiance for a ASMR video and it's torn between what class I want to start as. So typically Hunter is my favorite class, but I also like Druid and I've kind of been anchoring to play a mage. But unfortunately, uh, a Night Elf can't be a mage and mages kind of what I was leaning towards the most. Um, but maybe I'll go with a, a, a druid would be nice as well. I'm torn between a druid and a hunter, and I think I'll play a female night elf, because uh, that's just a cliche. graphics honestly aren't too bad for being ne nearly 20 years old now. That's not a bad name to start with. And I'm going to do more reading in this playthrough than I typically would on my own. If I was playing, I usually don't read the quest blocks and stuff, so at least in theory, I'm going to uh, read more of the stuff. We'll see how that actually goes. But let's see, Night Elf. 10,000 years ago, the Night Elves founded a vast empire but their reckless use of primal magic brought them to ruin. In grief, they withdrew to the forests and remained isolated there until the return of their ancient enemy, the Burning Legion. With no other choice, the Night Elves emerged at last from their seclusion to fight for their place in the new world. They fade into the shadows, dodged chance increased form while dead, resistant to nature damage. Hunters know the uncharted places of the world, gifted with a deep empathy for all life. They have an uncanny knack for befriending wild animals and taming them as pets. In addition, hunters can use their finely honed senses to become master trackers wherever hunters go. They fight back at the ravages of sickness exploitation, and industrialization. So they sound like a bunch of hippies, which not necessarily a bad thing. The older I get, the more I feel like I'm becoming a hippie in some ways. Okay, well, let's see how this is.
have Big Bad John on top of us. Click the button for a brief explanation of how to interact with that part of the world. These hints will start with the basics and then progress to more advanced topics as you gain in experience. Well, let's see how this goes. That did bring back some nostalgia. Um, hearing that intro. Okay, let's see. Was this in the original game? Quest givers have exclamation marks over their head. Talk to quest givers by moving close to them and right-clicking on them. Well, you can move with A, S, D, W keys with the arrow keys or by holding down both left and right mouse button. Left-click to select a target and right-click to interact with it. I did not know. Or maybe I didn't have forgotten, but I didn't know you could move around by holding down both mouse buttons. That's interesting. Okay. Well, let's talk to Conservator Elthalane. I'm probably butchering that. Ah, the beauty of Shadow Glen never ceases to delight my senses. Greetings, Jasara. I am Conservator. I'm going to call him Ithy. That's just going to be my nickname. I am Conservator Ithy. My purpose in Shadow Glen is to ensure that the balance of nature is maintained. The spring rains were particularly heavy this year, causing some of the forest beasts to flourish while others suffered. Unfortunately, the night sabers and thistlebore population grew too large. Shadow Glen can only produce so much food for the beasts. Journey forth, young hunter, and thin the boar and saber population so that nature's harmony will be preserved. Quest objectives kill seven young night sabers and four thistle boar and return to Conservator Ithy. I'll be able to choose between archery training gloves or stem leaf bracers and 35 copper. I'm going to also, I think, turn down the ambient sound because I don't know if those birds are going to be annoying in the video audio. and food for your pets in this version of the game. I have Raptor Strike and I have my main attack, which I don't think you really need to have in your hotbar. Also, why am I finding the movement so odd initially? Okay. So I have to stay stationary. Saber that was just over here. See, can I get off two arrows this time? Nice. I got off three. Oh, that made the kill a lot faster. How's my bag looking? This does bring back quite a bit of nostalgia. 
and I'm not sure how far I'm going to go on these characters. I'm considering, well, I think getting to level 10 takes a lot longer in Classic than in the retail version of WoW, but I might get my characters up to, like, level 5 or 10, and then switch to another one and kind of experiment with it's nice, I already got a belt. Um, I might experiment with different classes and different starting areas and kind of do a series of maybe leveling up a mage a little bit, a uh, hunter and a druid. I also wish I, I meant to look up a video. I was kind of curious about joining a roleplay server since I've never done that before, but I didn't look up a video, and then I saw the option to join a roleplay server. Well, I saw there was a high population roleplay server, and um, I didn't want to join it and then not know what I was doing and not being it booted from servers, but I didn't want to be a bad citizen of that server if I didn't understand what the role-playing aspect meant. Wow. I don't know if this is common or not, but kind of nice that I'm already like picking up some armor during this first quest. I think gear is a lot more rare in Classic. Like you aren't getting rare and legendary stuff like all the time like you do in retail. So I'm glad I went with a Night Elf Hunter, because I think the sounds of the bow are definitely a lot less disturbing than hearing a gunshot over and over. I can imagine that would not be ideal for ASMR. And I got some pants that have twice the armor of my pants. I guess I killed enough boars. Okay, I need to just start killing these night sabers now. curious to see if oh nice guess I should pick up these other quests since they might fit with the quest I'm already doing Melathar Staghelm thank goodness you're here Hunter strange news has traveled to me through the whispering of the forest spirits the mysterious woodland protector Tarandrella has returned to Shadow Glen. The Dryad's presence. Is that obviously a druid or is that something different? The Dryad's presence has not been felt in the forest of Cal. Calum. Oh my god. Calamador in years. Something is surely amiss if she has journeyed back to this land. Seek out Tarandrella and see what business she tends to in our grove. One of the sentinels reports seeing her to the west of Altrassel. Seek out the triad known as Tarndrilla. Also, please forgive me if I mispronounce anything. I really don't know a ton about World of Warcraft lore. I've watched a lot of videos over the years, but I still don't fully grasp things and don't know city names and stuff like that. kind of illustrates the point I was just about to make of if it'll be good or annoying that this is less handholdy. Um, because in retail, it like shows you on the map where you need to go when you look at your 
request log and everything like that. Um, shift click. Um, yeah, in this one you kind of just have to read and figure things out for yourself. So that sounds nice on paper, but we'll see if that gets annoying with time. Also, I just want to set up my interface real quick. Yeah, I think I'll do auto load. Open loot window at mouth. Um, let's see. I want that. Okay, here we go. Show action bar. I want the extra action bar. Seems to be plenty of night sabers here. Let's head over to that cave and see if we can find Ifaron. Is there a map? Okay. And kill some more of these night sabers as we make our way over there.
yeah, I think I've been having a hankering to play this game because, I don't know, periodically I always get a craving for World of Warcraft, even though I've never really got seriously into it. I think I mentioned in a previous video, I've only ever done one raid, and it was like a special event raid. It was like, um, I don't know, it's like a anniversary of the classic raid thing. You got some flaming helmet from it, and I did that once. It wasn't very hard. I had no idea what I was doing, and I still didn't really die. And I think it might have been like an anniversary for Molten Core, if that's the name of a raid. Okay, that's the town I need to go to. Um. I get random hankerings to go back to World of Warcraft, and I think I was like looking up some videos about World of Warcraft Classic, and then my YouTube algorithm picked up on that and started feeding me a ton of World of Warcraft Classic stuff, and that just kind of created a feedback loop of wanting to play this. And uh, yeah, I've just been seeing a lot of videos that now it's a good time to get back into Classic because it's kind of blowing up recently. So that is how we got here. I think this might be the cave up here, but I'm not positive. I could be completely wrong. We will see. smart lights all through my apartment and the lights in this room are a little bright and I kind of just want to there we go turn them down get more of a get more immersed in the ambiance of this game now I still need to kill one more night saber I thought I just killed the seventh one okay oh, these are twice my level Let's see how this goes. I might need to level up a little more before I can handle these guys. Especially being in a cave, I think it's a lot easier to uh, pull multiple mobs when you're in a cave. Yeah, I should not go in there yet. This might be a close one right here. Oh boy, come on, come on, raptor strike.
personally I like the sound of them, but I don't know if they exactly fit the vibe that ASMR is all about. Let's go back to what's I call in the sky conservator iffy. Ilthy, I guess it's I L not two eyes. Uh Performed your duties well, Jasara. Okay, I don't have any gloves, and these gloves are worse than the ones I already have equipped, so I will go with those. This sigil was given to me by a messenger from our under trainer, Ayana. It seems Ayana would have words with you when you have a moment. Read it and bring it to her afterwards. Read the etched sigil and speak to Ayana ever stride at the top of Aldrisel in Shadow Glen. Okay. Thinning the younger population of creatures here in Shadow Glen was a good start, Jasara, but there's still work to be done. The resources of the forest will be depleted too quickly if the problem is not addressed. Killing nature's beasts is a necessary evil for the good of all who share the land. Venture into the forest and slay mangy night sabers and thistle boars in the name of balance. Conservator Ilthi needs you to kill seven mangy night sabers and seven thistle boars. And I'll either get a cloak, which is the same as the one I'm wearing, or a belt that is much better than the one I have. Okay, so I will equip those gloves. Elfin is, or Elune is within you, Jasara. The wind whispers it to me, and I'm glad I can directly take part in the shaping of our next generation of hunters. From what I've been told, you are close to Aldrisol. Am I Aldrisol? Aldrisol. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with that so much. You are close to Aldrisol. I would meet with you inside the great tree when you have time. Our elders have charged me with ensuring that new hunters are properly trained for the trials ahead. You being one of the newest students, it would behoove you to visit me. Until then, be well. Ayana Everstride, Hunter Trainer. Okay. So I'm going to go sell these things. These only stack to five, okay. I'm gonna go sell these things and then just in case. Okay. Wow, I'm already up to one, one silver. I'll be rich before you know it. Okay, so this ultra cell that I'm already in stomach just made a crazy sound. Hopefully I can edit that out. Um, what I was saying is, please let me know if you like this, this series and you'd like it to continue.
because when I put it to a vote, I think World of Warcraft got the least amount of votes of the series that people would like to see. Um, so yeah, I personally, I want to play this game, so regardless to a certain extent, I'm going to probably keep playing it a little bit, at least until I get bored, because I do get bored of games very quickly. But yeah, I would like to know if this is the type of content some of you would like to see more of. I also just recorded a couple Grand Theft Auto Online videos, thus we'll God, my stomach's rumbling. Um, those Grand Theft Auto videos will probably be up before this. So if you're interested in GTA Online, uh, go check those out. And just as another thing, I should start saying this at the beginning of the videos, because this has caused confusion for multiple people. But uh, people keep thinking I'm uploading the same video twice. And I kind of am, but I... Uh, record, well, I edit my videos to upload one version that has game audio in it and one version that doesn't have any game audio because I know different people have different prefer preferences and it's not that hard when I'm editing these videos to just remove the game audio. So yeah, if you see two different videos for the same, same game and has the same similar thumbnail, I, I'm going to work on my thumbnails. I think they need to improve. But in the top right hand corner, uh, in the top right hand corner, I do, but if the game audio is on or off, and in the, the description of the video, I always put a link to the corresponding video with or without audio. So. If this one has game audio, and you'd rather watch it without game audio, if you go down to the description, there is a link to that version and vice versa. So just wanted to clear that up, uh, even though I'm doing it almost 40 minutes into the video. I'll probably, the next video, I'll probably save that at the beginning. But yeah, just to clear up any confusion there. But anyway, let's talk to the Hunter Trainer after I take a sip of tea. My stomach is probably rumbling because I haven't eaten anything yet today and I'm drinking tea. Okay. You've arrived and none too soon, Jasara. Welcome to Shadow Glen. I trust my sigil found you in good spirits and health. As I said previously, I am here to train you as a hunter, to tame beasts, to aid you in battle to use a bow with unerring accuracy, and respect the lands which we call home, and also the lands beyond. As you experience what Shadow Glen has to teach you, come see me. I'll be able to help you understand more about your role as a hunter and what you are capable of. These are dangerous times, Jasara. Do not take for granted the skill of your pets. There are things in this world more dangerous than you can imagine. Go with alone and return to me again. So at what level can I learn my next skill? Aspect of the monkey. The hunter takes on the aspect of a monkey, increasing chance to dodge by 8%. Only one aspect can be active at a time. I can learn track beasts. And it's only 10 copper. So it seems like I need to reach level 4. You have learned a new spell or ability. Use the spell book or abilities button in your action bar to open up your spell book. Left click and drag. My spell book, and we will add track beasts. I wonder are the profession are there profession trainers here, or do I have to get to the next city for that? Well, let's just look up here real quick. I bet it's probably more class trainers if I had to guess. 
jump off here, but I'm pretty sure that would kill me. Okay, my quest log. Southwest, okay. be in very good shape. Okay. I was also kind of interested Super fun. Sorry, my stomach wanted to take over the commentary again. Uh, I was watching a video. As you can tell, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, about a pacifist playthrough of World of Warcraft and leveling up without killing or doing damage to anything, and I thought that would be interesting. I wouldn't say I'm a full-blown pacifist, I eat meat and everything like that, but I don't know, recently for some reason I felt really bad about killing bugs, just kind of thinking about the moral implications of bugs and how we like, or at least I, and I think a lot of people just kind of kill them without any thought of that they're like living things. And don't get me wrong, just because I feel bad about it, I still kill them. I've been thinking about it more because as it becomes springtime here in New York, I've started to see more bugs. I don't just like kill them outside, but the last couple days I've woken up and there's been like a single kind of big centipede in my shower, which I'm not a big fan of those, so I've been killing those and random spiders and things of that nature. And yeah, I don't know, I just I feel kind of bad about it, but not bad enough to, to not kill them. It doesn't help that I have a, a slight, I'm definitely becoming less afraid of bugs as I get older. Growing up, I was deadly afraid of spiders, and I still don't like them, but I at least don't screech like a five-year-old girl now when I see them, so I'm making progress. But yeah, I would like to get to the point where they don't scare me enough, where I could like catch them and bring them outside, but living in an apartment complex, it's quite a bit of effort. And unfortunately, it's just easier to squish them. But anyone else out there that feels bad about killing bugs, drop a comment so I know I'm not the only only crazy person out there. But anyway, that's how I kind of feel about completing this quest. Like there, the guy's like, oh, you need to the necessary evil to protect the balance of the forest. But I'm like, how much of that is just like random 
a justification that these elves are coming up with to, to justify these actions. Like, whereas if these things were just coming in and murdering all the elves, we'd probably see them as evil. But when we go into the forest and just mindlessly murder these things, it's in the name of protecting the balance of nature. I don't know. I don't know if any of this makes sense. But, yeah, the reason I'm saying that is because I come up with a justification myself of if a centipede was like 20 times bigger than me and it woke up and found me in its shower, I have a feeling the centipede would have no problem killing me, but I don't know, maybe they're more peaceful, maybe it wouldn't just mindlessly crush me or eat me or whatever a centipede would do. So, like the night elves with using the excuse of protecting the balance of nature, I use the excuse of, I guess, a weird version of the golden rule that I'm pretty sure, if given the option, these bugs would probably kill me if I was one hundredth of their size and in their living quarters. Yeah, sorry for that weird, weird tangent. That's the type of, uh, high-quality commentary you can expect from my channel. Okay, we have four more thistle bores. I guess I'll finish up this quest and end this video. I was hoping to keep these videos around 45 minutes, but as usual, it'll probably end up being a little bit longer. It seems like most of my videos come out to be about an hour. left to murder. Take a quick little tea break. Okay. Can't wait to get a pet and a better bow. So hopefully these enemies die before ever getting to server. Maybe this isn't one of the more popular starting areas, but I'm surprised that I've barely seen any other players. I was kind of looking forward to seeing other people. But maybe for my next character, I'll switch over to that high population role-playing server. sure if it's worth repairing the stuff. I know that money is a lot harder to come by and a lot more. You have to be a lot smarter about managing it in Classic. Well, again, I say I know this stuff. This is stuff I've heard in different videos I've watched. Oh, is that the guy? I'm oh, nice. Just close by. Proven your dedication to nature well, Jasara, a young hunter like yourself.
yourself as a promising future. here and in the next one we will collect Thelmoths and go see if Iberon is still alive or if he's been eaten by those spiders. But as always, I really, really do appreciate you spending your time with me and I hope you found this video to be relaxing. I hope if you're trying to fall asleep you aren't hearing this and if you are I'm sure you'll fall asleep soon. Just relax and everything will be okay. But I hope you'll come back and join me again. And I hope you have a nice rest of your night.